Hey Tim! What? What rake is this? Second one. This is rake number two. Alright, so rake number two, Mr. Tim is, uh, what are you clamping? Far apart. Well, do me a, clamp it farther out on the end because what you're trying to clamp, it's not going to squeeze anything. You got to clamp it the other side. You got to clamp it out on the far end of it so that it squeezes it together. You can't. It, will it work now? Because if, if you're going to prove me wrong, I'll be okay with that. Did it go in? Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're, uh, Timothy's got these new parts on. I did not help him much at all with this today. I've been doing other things. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be going ahead and repairing these. Another thing I'd like to say is uh, for the guys that actually run these wheel rakes, if you allow this, this one tooth to be bad and you don't change it right away, I'm going to show you what it's doing. Because that tooth is bad, it's dropping the rake, the rake wheel down into the dirt in that six or eight inches that's there. And you can see the difference between this one and this one, how it's bent that. Because it drops down, digs in, bends the shit out of it, and this one is the next one in line to go. As you can see, this one here is bent. The next one is getting bent and then they straighten out. So if you have one tine missing, stop at the end of the day. I'm not saying do it right away and replace this one tooth. Because if you don't, you're just going to break another one. And replacing it with old ones is perfectly fine. Works out really well. So I do have a couple three that are broken on this wheel. They will be all new and ready to go like this. See, see how that goes in succession? That didn't get replaced. Boom, 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 three. Those two there, gone bad. Boom, 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 three. There's one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, and then there's another one with one, two down below. So they need to be replaced. You know, you gotta replace them. So I've got enough spare teeth to do that. Again here, it's doing the same thing. And, you know, it's just hard on them. Replace them, maintain them. Every day, if you see that one is bad, get it maintained. You see that clustered up mess right there? It's the same thing. Dropping down in, bending the shit out of it. It actually bent and folded past the other one. Which is kind of weird, but it did. It broke out down below? Yeah. Let me see. I'm caught. Ah! Right in the grease. Oh yeah, look. That one broke out down below there. That's weird. But this one here, it actually bent it to the point. It bent it to the point where it folded it over the top of the other one. So I'm gonna have to really kind of. It's gonna take two hands to get that off. It's really hard on them when it does that. Now I can't stress enough to check your rake teeth. A couple of teeth, and the other thing is, it won't rake worth a damn. If it's not, if that tooth isn't there, that hay is going to get in between there, and it isn't going to pick it all the way up. Did you break it? No. Nope. Snapped it off. See that? You junked it, man. You junked it. Yeah, so we're going to replace those. We'll probably replace, yeah, we'll only need to replace those two. Uh, it's been breaking on the edge a little bit. Yeah, I see the rust in it. So yeah, it just gets beat up. You know, this thing's probably been over 7,000, six or 7,000 acres. Yeah. So, it is what it is. Anyway, yeah, so he's finishing up that job there. Uh, no, I know, you gotta crank that out. Actually, you know what, you might as well demonstrate that. Tim's gonna demonstrate how to make this rake wider. Uh, yeah, it makes life a lot easier when you're like this. Ready? Look at this. Now watch. You take the jack off the hitch and you crank it out. You don't want to go too far too fast, but there is a pin. Uh-oh, you got ahead of yourself. And that jacks it out. There are three positions with these hay rakes. And I always put mine on the third position because I need it as wide as I can to cover the two 15-foot 
uh, mowers, whether it's the case or the John Deere. There's 15 foot of uh, 15 foot of uh, mown mown hay or grass that it needs to. Uh, yeah, you're doing all right. That it needs to collect to put into the center. So here you go. You're getting close. You're getting close, aren't you? Right there it is. And as simple as that is, there it is. And I believe there is a nice little uh, clip there. Right there it is. And now you're at the 25 foot width. It's 25 feet to the center. And you can adjust the width that you have out the back by using those arms which Mr. Tim could demonstrate when he's done. So this rake is almost finished. There was uh, something else we had to do to it. What else do we have to do to this thing? Oh, the springs. We got to replace the springs. Yeah, but you only have one. Yeah, I know, but the other one's coming, so we'll replace one. These springs go bad. This is the flotation springs. That is really the reason why the rake teeth are getting busted out, because the flotation springs are broken and that's putting an awful lot of pressure on the rake wheels themselves and gouging it into the ground. So uh, I got a new spring sitting right up there at the end of my finger on the tire changer right there and we're gonna put those on. We'll put that one on probably right now. What the hell is that? Spring. Did you break that? No. Who did that? The rake did. The rake did. Yeah, it just fell apart. I welded this at one point. I think I welded this. Yeah, this is the one that I welded. And it just broke the bits. It didn't matter. It got me through the rest of the year, but broke all the bits. What does that George Saunders say? Just pick up the bits and bring them back? Yeah. yeah that's about right. Well, anyways, Mr. Tim, how does that thing go together? Do you know? There's a, there's like a little socket there that's wore all to hell because of the bits. I'll stick that through there, and that goes over the top, and that goes up the bottom. And then you just ran it on, run it on there. They're really simple to repair. Just don't forget. Just be careful. Why don't you put it on that? Don't do that. Okay, so that's it. Now you can adjust the height if you want more, more or less down pressure. You loosen this nut on the bottom, and then you can run that bolt up or down because that's what runs right here, and that makes the flotation. Uh, so if you're a little, I'll do that. So if you want it a little less aggressive on the ground, you just run that thing up. Or if you're still leaving streaks of hay. I like my rake a little bit aggressive on the ground because sometimes we're not raking really dry hay, we're raking wet hay or even severely heavy hay, so a little bit extra pressure. Of course you're going to break more rake teeth that way, but you know what, uh, for what we do, that's okay. I'm alright with that. So anyways, if you're interested in this rake, make me an offer. I have two of them and they will be 100% like new. Uh, these are the ones that I built the uh, that bridge system on. It is an AR-12, 12, 12 wheel rake. You can shrink them up to like 19 feet, you know, 8 and 8, 16, uh, two 9 footers are 18 feet, so you don't even need that much, but uh, yeah, there they are. And they will tow anywhere behind a pickup truck at 90 mile an hour if you want, because guess what? I've done it. <laughs> Yeah, about down Route 78 is 6570 in it. They trail real nice. Yeah, that, when, when the broke out of that yeah, we broke out. What we broke was that thing. Wasn't it one of those? That was the, uh, yeah, yeah, he broke that out. Yeah, it broke that. So, you know, but we got the new one to put on. I mean, it would have been okay to still break with two missing. Yeah. It's still grabbing. Yeah. But every time I look away, it was just. Yeah, so I, I drug it down the highway. So if you live in Iowa and you want a hay rake, you can drive your pickup truck out here. Hell, you can drive your Ford Escort out here if you wanted to. It'll still tell it. They pull like nothing. 
and you, if you want to lock them in the up position you just boom if you only want to rake like the old traditional style you'd lock one side up and you rake with the other and then it's like a single side delivery rake uh, but yeah good rakes really good rakes but anyway thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe